Good morning, everybody. It is I, and I'm having a little bit of a conversation with you on my lovely YouTube about recent events. So, apologies for the noise. If you're new here, I have a lot of birds. As you can hear, it sounds like I'm in the Amazon rainforest. It's always going to be that way because I breed them and sell them and I love their little faces. They're adorable. They're just very, very loud. Shut up, guys. See, I tried. Anyway, so current events, I was working at B&M um, after being not fired, but I'm told that my contract has ended at being too. So I went to B&M um, for the interview, assuming that this would be a part-time job. Oh boy, was I wrong. I would prefer a day shift job any day of the week. Um, so the guy had put me on a 39 hour a week shift, only back shift, working from 10 all the way to 7 a.m. And it was killing me, literally. Most of the time I was like just overly tired. Um, it is horrible. Sorry if you hear all the, if all you can hear is birds and music. But I'm just having a little bit of a me type right now with my coffee. Mm. Beautiful. But I thought I'd take some time out of my day to talk to you. These lovely people on my my, uh, my channel. But yeah, I was working at B&M. They overworked me. Um, and I left. I just quit. I just went, look, I can do any other shift, day shift. I'm assuming this is part time. It's not part time. You've put me on. 39 hours. They were wanting me to do that for two weeks. Two of the first weeks, it was killing me. Um, I was so bad that it affected my mental health in a terrible, terrible way. Now, I had the job of doing all the heavy lifting. Again, something that I did at being q as well. Um, I'm always doing heavy lifting. Um, I, I think it's all right. It gives me, you know, strong muscles and you know, I've been working out real, Feels good, so you know I'm trying to get in the shape. So I see it more as a workout. But see, when you're at three o'clock in the morning and you have to put bloody beds, yes, full double beds out on a shelf, it's not gonna happen, man. Plus, when I come home and I finish my shift at seven a.m., I got this business to run as well. So it's too much, way, way too much. So I did come clean, I spoke to one of the managers there at B&M um, and he said, well, why did you accept this position then? And I was like, well, hold on. I was told it was gonna be a part-time shift. I was also told as well that the hours were gonna be 25, 20 to 25. Why am I working 39 hours? Yeah, I'm a big guy and I live really close by to the store, but oh my God, it was killing me. I was literally hallucinating after three o'clock in the morning because I was exhausted, absolutely exhausted. And I was functioning on about three to four hours sleep. And that is not healthy whatsoever. If you've ever done a night shift, I trust me, I fucking understand your pain, but I'm never doing one again. That's terrible. I'm never working past 12 o'clock. Never, never. 11 o'clock at night is pushing it, if I'm being really honest. Well, I said that, and I, I was pretty much useless anyway. Um, I just can't be tired. I cannot. It's, uh, it's just ridiculous. You advertise for like a part-time role, um, temporary role, and you give them the full-time hours. What the hell, man? I understand I, I'm always pushing for more hours, but not straight away. Let me get comfortable and set in, just like any other employee would. And then you can give me the crazy hours, all right? And that's only because I would be doing you a favor, employer. I don't need the money. I certainly don't need any stress. So I'm there to essentially do something for your company. So that's why I would say to be an end, if they were listening, I'm there as a favor to you. I'm not there for the money. I'm not there, you know, to, to you know, 
be Mr. Money Makes, what would I try to say? Like, I'm not there to do tons of overtime. I'm not there to bust my ass to pay bills and stuff like that. What I'm there to do is to help you out because that's the way Bob does things. If I'm working for a company, I want to be happy there. I don't want to be horrible, miserable, and always exhausted, you know? I got my own business to run. You can understand that. I've got my own viewers to, to view all my content, and I want to keep them happy. I've got a lot of work to do outside of work. I need a part-time job. I don't need a, a goddamn overworking, stressful environment that takes me up to seven o'clock in the morning. It's ridiculous. It's not. And as well as that, the actual guy that runs the place as well when he was hiring on all our staff, he was taking a week-long holiday that week, so I couldn't actually get to speak to him. I couldn't turn around and tell him my problems or my issues. And as well as that, there was moments where we were... Guys, calm down. We're having a vlog here. There was moments as well where I would go into the store and there's no manager. There's no supervisor whatsoever on the entire floor. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell, b &M? The hell? They have a policy where you have to have a manager so that you can sell knives to people of age. Um, I guess they weren't doing that at seven o'clock in the morning, uh, no, seven o'clock at night, so just saying, that last hour guys, you needed a manager on the floor and you said there was none. I asked as a customer would ask for a supervisor. Because uh, at that point, I was a customer. So yeah. Um, yeah, what the hell, man? They, there's a lot of issues in that, in that uh, B and M. Hey, I happily run the store for you if you want. Um, I'm always health and safety conscious. Like, boo, boo, boo. I'm always like, I have to have everything clean and tidy when I'm in work. Even the little things. If I see things are dusty, I'm gonna go dust them. I'm gonna dust that shelf because it's too dusty. It's like, I'm always active in a working environment, but it's just, the place is all just horrible, horrible, you know? Um, plus, it feels like you're getting asked um, to keep your eyes out for junkies. What the, what the? Yeah, not the place I want to work. Thank you very much, you know? I wish I could go back to being q though. However, I think some of the higher management there have a few issues with me because you're not allowed to voice your opinion in being q without getting your fucking P45 handed to you. Yeah, we're there to listen. There to listen. A certain individual will understand this if she ever sees it. But yeah, every place is with its, um, with its faults. Um, it's crazy. Um, it is actually crazy. I really want to just... In the next place I'm working, I'm going to give my own feedback on that as well. As soon as I give feedback into a store or a place, it seems to be, here's your P45, get the fuck out. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you put on, like, billboards and stuff like that. We're here to listen. Voice of the customers. Yeah, what the fuck? Get the fuck. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, man, working is crazy. And retail right now is mental. And I'm only doing it so I can lose weight and keep my lovely, luscious body. That's all I want to do. I mean, god damn, isn't that what we all want to do? Is be nice, fit, healthy, and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, um, I've got tons of interviews lined up this week. I've got to set something up with the birds as well because I'm selling a few. We've also got more eggs. We've got more baby budgies. So prepare for more videos on baby budgies. Um, Another thing as well, my motorcycle, I can't bring it down yet because we've had an issue with a crazy neighbour. As you might have seen on my YouTube, we have a few videos of me trying to confront the crazy neighbour. It doesn't work. Um, as soon as he sees a camera, he runs away like a little child. Also, he does weird things at night at the back. I don't understand this. He's like a night crawler. He's just... Mm, mm, mm. He's there. I, I, don't, I don't understand. Um, and he keeps throwing shit into the garden between hours. So I keep cleaning it up, putting it back in his garden. And it's just, it's ridiculous. And that's, obviously guys, this is, you know, you gave me the idea to, you know, give the stuff back. And we've had more trouble with the trolleys. Come on, man. He drives a fucking car. He sh if he's got something wrong with him, 
mentally, which we all do, you know, we all have our issues, but if he's got some sort of mental illness that is making him be this crazy and hostile to everyone around him in this area, should he be driving a car? If he hits someone with a car and it's uninsured, um, as in like a pedestrian, he could kill them and go to jail. So, fuck me. After working in insurance industries, you know, I should know about that. It's bloody crazy. But yeah, um, he's just been driving me up the wall. I put the videos up on my YouTube so you can have a wee look at that. Um, mm, it's a mochaccino. Oh, hot chocolate and coffee. Mwah. Great invention. Um, so today I'm gonna go see my parents, see how they're doing, because uh, lockdown's been getting to them. Um, that's what I'm there to do. I want to help people, and that's what I'm gonna carry on doing for the rest of my life. Uh, another thing as well is I'm trying to apply for a job with pets at home because I wanna get into animal care. It is a temporary job, but hey, I, I'm okay with that. That's what I want. So I can come here, talk to you, and make your day a lot brighter. But yeah. And oh, another thing as well, my YouTube uh, is kind of stopped for whatever reason. I can't get more subscribers, and it's just kind of bumming me out. It's really bumming me out. I hate it. It's so annoying. It's just the way that the YouTube algorithm is working recently. It's just been a bit crazy. So I don't know why that is. But anyway. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I wish you the best day today. I'm sorry a video long didn't, you know, I'll try and do this more regular for you so I can talk to you personally and tell you my woes and it's good to get stuff off your chest. So feel free, jump into my comments, um, tell me your points of view or tell me any, time, any struggles you've had with any employers because I really wanna know. Um, that's the whole purpose of my YouTube. It's Carefree Zone and I'm here for you. So yes, sayonara, tati bye now, take care.